we take a look at awful scrapped plans for Survivor Series, the impact and Ring of Honor titles are being defended at a major indie event, and two WWE superstars have entered the Guinness Book of World Records. More on that in just a sec. So Andrew, first of all, inflammatory headlines from Tom <gasps> Campbell there. Awful strap plans for WWE Survivor Flames. Series revealed. According to Fightful, at least, uh, what are they saying? They have said WWE originally wanted to integrate the Golden Egg storyline with the 24-7 title change. Mm. Teams associated with The Rock and or Red Notice informed WWE that they would not be sufficient for the seven-figure deal. That's not a strong enough story, I'm afraid, guys. Oh my goodness. Vince McMahon being personally involved in the storyline was intended to highlight its importance and as a make good for the original idea. Very interesting indeed. Yeah. Because you know what I thought when Vince first came out and on the pre-show and got the egg out and all the all the 24-7 division basically were in the back going, yay! Egg, I thought egg, egg. this is going to be involved in the 24-7. Yes. I, that's what I of thought. Of course. So that does make a lot of sense. Mm. I did find it very strange that Vince was involved, so much so that I thought it had to mean The Rock was turning up. Yeah. Because Vince doesn't just get involved in any storyline. Uh -uh. I thought Rose after his little meeting with Vince was going to come out and go, I've got the egg. That set it up so perfectly for that to be the thing. Beats Biggie. Expect the unexpected. Hold As we remember from the first news Check video. Check out the other news videos exactly. that we've done. We've done two already, but there's yet more news. Oof. Um, but yeah, I thought it was going to lead to The Rock coming along because yep. Vince doesn't get involved in just any storyline. He doesn't. This would make a lot of sense then. This would make a lot of sense. Uh, do you know what? Would he have minded if it had been involved in the 24-7 title picture? No. Who, Vince? No, this whole, just the, the whole rock. egg storyline Oh, stuff. if I was The Rock, I wouldn't have wanted my egg involved in the 24-7 <laughs> title picture. Oh, your egg? Nah. Uh, I no? Want it. I want a storyline with Vince McMahon specifically leading into a match between Big E and Austin Theory the next night. That's what wow. I Wow, that's what we all wanted. Yeah. That's what yeah. we all wanted. Um, but yeah, apparently, yeah, you know, Fightful is saying that, that Vince being involved was to heighten its importance, as Andrew said. Yeah. And I think that that is very feasible. I mean, it... Uh, it, it was so out of the blue that I was, uh, this makes a lot of sense. And now it just feels like the egg storyline was literally just to set up all the stuff between Vince and Austin Theory. I, I thought it was going to be The Rock. Maybe it's going to be Austin Theory versus The Rock at I, WrestleMania. <laughs> Think about it. Austin versus Rock. Oh, oh my god, you could. Oh. Just one. Oh. Okay, um, yeah! <laughs> so. <laughs> So, speaking of The Rock, anyway, PW Insider is saying that Young Rock Season 2 will cover Rocky Johnson's run in Memphis mm. and his first year in the then WWF. Uh, the NBC sitcom is casting actors to portray... Wait a minute, have I said Rocky Johnson? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it covers Rocky Johnson's yeah, run in Memphis, sorry. Yeah, it does, of course it does. And his first year in the then WWF. Uh, for a second I was like, hang on, what does it mean Dwayne? But no, it means Rocky... Does no, we need to meet. No, Young Rock. Young Dwayne the Rock. Johnson. Young Dwayne the Rock. Johnson. I thought the show okay? was set further back than it was. No, no, no. I thought it was about his dad's career while he's I think his dad's him. in the show. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, this will cover Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne. <laughs> the more famous of the two. His run in Memphis and his first year in the then WWF. The NBC sitcom is apparently casting actors to portray the following mm. Bill Dundee, Jerry Lawler, Tommy Rich. A young Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh. It's a young all of them. Like, don't just single out yeah. Bam Bam. That's not very nice. I, yeah. Triple I was going to say. The I Undertaker, have. Harvey Whippleman, and the Brooklyn Brawler. I have, I have casting, right? I have casting ideas. Go on. For Young, uh, young Undertaker, for Paul Bearer, and for uh, and and for Paul Bam Bam Bigelow. On here, but you've gone. Yeah, it. but I'm going for it like, anyway. Can, I, can right? I guess, or are you just going to reveal them? You now? can you can guess if you want. Undertaker, Andrew WK. Oh, that'd be very good. Who's I didn't yours? think about. I was going to go for. Have you seen Umbrella Academy? No. Right. So Is there like, a very tall man? He's like he's. There's a very tall man. He's a very tall, muscular guy. I can't remember his name in the show, but he's like mm. the main. He's okay. like a werewolf man. Okay. He's very very good. Fair enough. Uh, can you guess for Paul Bearer? Jim Cornette. No, <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, Ron Swanson, oh, Nick Offerman, okay, would be so Rex. good. Okay. He'd be so good. <laughs> no, he's personality-wise, he's the very opposite of Paul Perry. Yeah, but he's, he'd he's, be he's so excited good. by nothing. I think he'd be amazing. <laughs> Him just going, you. It'd literally just be Ron Swanson, wouldn't it? As Paul Bear. <laughs> Hello there, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam Bigelow. Can you guess? This one, this one, I think could work. No, go on. Very well. Um, 
Have you ever seen a cook on YouTube called Matthew Matheson before? He's all tatted up. Yeah, the Burger a lot. Man. Yeah, yeah, him. I think he could be okay, Batman Bigelow. Fair enough. I think he'd be an amazing. Uh, for some Batman reason, Bigelow. in my head, I had Hank from Breaking Bad. Yeah, Adrian that Schrader. could work as well. <laughs> yeah. That would actually that would be pretty good. Just looking, for, but he, instead of the rock, he calls him the mineral. Yeah. Like, where are you? <laughs> Oh, you thought That's about this before. Breaking Bad Reddit memes, memes from 10 Reddit years memes. ago. Yeah, yeah. Remember Breaking Bad? Man, what a I do remember so, Breaking Bad. Did you like it? It was buzzing. I, I think I prefer it. Better Call Saul. I've not watched but, enough Better Call Saul. But, but it's, Breaking Bad is amazing. What I have watched of it, I like. Yeah. Bob, Bob, Bob and Coach made he's, a, he's unreal. He's what? Unreal. Oh, I thought you said he's a real and I waited. He's unreal. He's unreal. <laughs> Ring of Honor and Impact Tiles are set to be defended at a major indie event. Of so, uh, at Hard Times 2 this Saturday, mm. we've got Mickey James putting a knockouts title on the line against Kira Hogan. And also, yes. the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, the OGK, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett, will be defending against Aaron Stevens, or Damien Sandow, mm -hmm. and J.R. Kratos as well. Ooh. So, um, that's quite interesting. I mean, I'm not surprised about the Ring of Honor titles, since Ring of Honor has sadly kind of folded. Yeah. Their titles, I was guessing, were going to be defended here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, of course. But Impact, that's a big deal. Mickey that's James awesome. Against Kira Hogan for the Knockouts Championship. That's another really good one, because we <coughs> haven't really me. seen Kira Hogan, Kira Hogan too much on AEW since not she's been really. signed. So, this is nice to she see. She might have been in the Battle Royal. Yeah, yeah. But this is nice to see her in a, in a title picture against Mickey James. They're going to put on, put on a blooming good match. I was going to say bloody, but I don't know oh. if, that's, if YouTube allows probably, that, Jack. Probably allowed. Does it? Oh, thank goodness. Um, the pay per view is being held at GPB studios in Atlanta on Saturday this Saturday and mm -hmm. will be available via Fight TV. Um, I'm going to name some other things that are on the card actually because it's quite Ooh, a stacked one. Some good, stacked one. Uh, so we'll have the opening of the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship Tournament a retirement ceremony. Oh my god I've just Aww. seen this. What? A retirement ceremony for Jazz who will cease active competition oh, one of the most underrated women's wrestlers in WWE history I yes. thought she was quality Jazz. She was quality and then when she came back to Impact as still well very still, really, still really really good. good. Um, Colby Carino versus Doug Williams. That's oh, a very interesting match. That's sexy. Yes. Uh, and NWA Women's Tag Team Champions, The Hex, Alison Kay and Marty Bell, defending against Kylie Ray and Tutti Lin and the team of Lady Frost and Natalia Markova. Um, great news about Kylie Ray. Yes, by the way. definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. On Twitter. Congratulations to her, and I'm glad she's back. Mm -hmm. uh, NWA Women's Champion Camille defending against. My girl, Your girl Melina, specifically, <laughs> and the NWA World World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch defending Ooh. against Mike Knox. Wow, wow, it's like Mike 2006, Knox. but in a good way. It is because they're actually they're better now. <laughs> Could you even imagine back then those two being in <laughs> a main event title <sighs> match for the NWA World <sighs> Championship? That's no. really cool. That is really cool. And really I'm glad cool. They're doing it. Um, that's very exciting, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that is a stacked card. Hard time it really is. this Saturday on Fight TV, or if you're in Atlanta, just pop on down to GP GPB Studios and have a little watch of the wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Back to WWE news. This is the third one we've done. Okay. This is back it. To the, we, back, we're getting there now, people. Back to the WWE news as two WWE superstars have entered the Guinness Book of World Records. Mm. Guinness have congratulated the Viper, the oh. Apex Predator, Randy Orton, and Talia on their social media yesterday. All mm. right. For a minute, I was like, the record's not about their social media. Guinness <laughs> tweeted them. Yeah, they tweeted them, yeah. They're celebrating Orton, breaking the record for the most pay-per-view appearances in WWE by a male performer, wow. 177, as well as Natalia setting the record for the most by a female performer with 68. Amazing. Yeah, well done to both. Incredible longevity. Uh, I'm not surprised by Orton's. I was no. a little bit surprised that Natalia was the one, actually. Fair yeah, play. me too. Fair enough. Me too. Yeah. But yeah, like, thinking about it, it's crazy to just think how time has flown by so fast. It I really remember has. being a, a young whippersnapper we're watching Randall Keith Orton win that World Heavyweight Championship. And now look where we he are. He was younger than we are now when he won that title. I uh, think he was like 24. Uh, oh, God. Hey, there's nothing I can say. Nothing's going to change what you've done to no, me. Now it's time, my time. Now it's time, now it's time, now it's time to shine. It's not I'm my gonna time. I'm going to take what's my hand. What's my hand. Hey. Hey. Yeah. And then, you know, Natalia's cool as well. Yeah, that's so, really, 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 really awesome. That is really awesome. So yes, that was um, that was that was very good. I I'm worried that in the headline, Andrew, I said that two superstars are set to enter the Guinness Book of World Records. But don't worry, I'll go and re-record that before we cease filming this video. Oh, I'm peeling the curtain back. I know, but you guys won't have to see that. Thank you very much for watching this video. No interruptions this time. If you watched the last one, we were interrupted by Ashton of Triple Jump, who just wandered into the end of our video. No, we asked her to come into the end oh. of the video. No, but 
She was in the room, though. Yeah, but it's, you, you, we were still like, come, come over and say hello. So yeah, can't, yeah. We can't you know, put that yeah. on Ashton there. Come on, Jack. <sighs> I guess we did. Anyway, no interruptions this time. Uh, and I guess Triple H can have their precious room back. Do check out Triple H for video game and content if you enjoy Do that you, sort of thing. You just said Triple H. Did I? Twice. Triple H. <laughs> Do check out Triple H. <laughs> It's all right. We've done three news videos. Thank you Do so you much, everybody, for Triple watching. Jump for all your it. gaming content if you like that sort of thing. Yep. And Triple H if you enjoy cerebral wrestling. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>